Nine months later, Broken Compass finally opens a new tap room in downtown Breck. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, snow totals are in and Summit finally got the goods. Breckenridge was local winner with 13 inches, the most all season. Loveland was lowest with 5 inches. Beaver Creek picked up 15, the most on the I-70 corridor. Snowmass reports 20. And up north, Steamboat could claim another 2 feet by Saturday. Open snow is forecasting 5 to 10 inches more here locally. A state trooper is recovering today after he was rear-ended by a suspected drunk driver on I-70 during yesterday's snowstorm. The incident happened at exit 205 in Silverthorne around 445. The driver was arrested for DUI. Three well-known men from Eagle County were killed by an avalanche near Silverton this Monday, and today rescuers are still waiting to bring their bodies home. Summit Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimons. A special note is that the rescuers can't even get in there because of the, da the lingering danger. So that's something that people really need to pay attention to, that you might end up in trouble. You might end up actually even living in a lot of pain, and no one can get to you. Two of the three men served on Eagle Town Council. One, Andy Jessen, was Mayor Pro Tem and co-founder of Bonfire Brewing. Condolences are pouring in, writes a Crystal listener, a crushing loss for our friends in Eagle. Summit County's unemployment rate is 7.9%, the highest in our area. 1,450 locals are jobless today, three and a half times higher than February last year. Statewide, about 202,000 people are unemployed, two and a half times higher than last year. State Senator Kerry Donovan is taking off the gloves to unseat newly elected U.S. Representative Lauren Boebert. You deserve a congresswoman who cares more about getting results than getting headlines. I approve this message because real toughness isn't something you wear on your hip, it's what you get done for people. Donovan of Vail announced her congressional campaign this morning, 21 months before the next election. Bo Bear of Rifle has not yet responded. Broken Compass Brewery has officially opened a second location in downtown Breckenridge. Broken Compass moves into the old Liquid Lounge space on Park and Main. They've been renovating there since June and been delayed time and again for COVID. The latest now on coronavirus and Zoom towns. County Commissioner Elizabeth Lawrence explains a new term for a new trend. People can now move there that thought they never could before because they can work remotely and they have that opportunity. So I'm very interested to see how that changes our year-round population as well as uh, the makeup of our locals here. Summit County's latest infection rate per 100,000 is 846 with a positive test rate of 7.5%. Summit Medical Center is at 41% capacity. Avalanche danger is high today in the Summit Eagle County zone with a special avalanche warning in effect through tomorrow. Conditions are ripe for slides with 10 to 15 inches all across the zone. In sports, the Nuggets face the Lakers tonight at 8 on TNT. The Avalanche and Wild game is postponed. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Boys and Girls Basketball are in rifle today. Wrestling is up in Steamboat Springs. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.